Welcome back. I'm Robin Kerno, live here in Atlanta. So a preliminary report indicates shoddy construction contributed to last month's deadly collapse of a commuter train overpass in Mexico City. More than 20 people were killed in the incident and dozens more were injured. The accident has certainly put the spotlight on Mexico's richest man, who owns one of the companies that built the structure. Rafael Romo reports now from Mexico City. There were no questions allowed, eh, no contestaremos preguntas por el día de... even though many unknowns remain. It was the first time Mexico City officials were trying to answer why an elevated train collapsed in early May, killing 26 people and leaving at least 79 injured. A top official said the accident was caused by faulty construction, including poor welding of metal studs and missing studs, as well as the use of different types of concrete. He was quoting from the first preliminary report by DNV, a Norwegian risk management firm hired by the Mexico City government to conduct an independent investigation. When Line 12 was inaugurated in October 2012, it was supposed to be the crown jewel of Mexico City's public works projects. It connected some of the most marginalized neighborhoods with the best the Mexican capital has to offer. Now the stretch lies in ruins and nobody yet knows when the whole line will reopen. The accident is not only one of the worst tragedies in Mexico's recent memory, but also a case that strikes at the very heart of Mexican politics and economic power. Carlos Slim, the owner of one of the companies involved in construction, is Mexico's richest man. The government of Mexico has given Carlos Slim a lot of money in infrastructure. Why? Because he is the biggest constructor in Mexico. A nosotros. Mexico City Mayor and Presidential hopeful Claudia Sheinbaum, a protege of President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, is the one who commissioned the independent investigation into the collapse. Marcelo Ebrard, Mexico's current foreign minister and another presidential hopeful, spearheaded the Line 12 project when he was mayor of Mexico City. And some analysts suggest part of the reason why there were many faults in the construction is that it was rushed. He wanted to be the guy to cut the ribbon. This Mexican journalist says the political implications for President Andrés Manuel López Obrador and his party, Morena, are widespread. The party has, has gotten a very big hit, and we saw it in the elections when you see the capital of Mexico being divided in vote, where the capital of Mexico is the biggest uh, political base for the president. Morena, the president's party, used to rule all but two of Mexico City's 16 municipalities. After the June 6 midterm elections held one month after the train collapse, the number was reduced to less than half. Ebrard, the foreign minister, has denied any wrongdoing multiple times. He who owes nothing fears nothing, he said the day after the accident. The corporation owned by Carlos Slim told CNN that there will be no comment until the final result of the investigation is released. And now the ruins of what was supposed to be Mexico City's crown jewel stand as a silent witness of the tragedy while Mexicans wait to know the full truth about the deadly collapse. Rafael Romo, CNN, Mexico City.